Hi, my name is Sandy Patterson and I teach second grade at Lindo Park School. And I was working really hard to incorporate the Common Core standards into my curriculum this year because we've adopted the Common Core. So, um, so for writing, I decided that it would be fun to have the kids do some opinion writing. In the lower primary grades, they call it opinion writing. In the upper grades, they call it um, persuasive writing. So I thought we would try. Um, I gave the kids the prompt. I said, we're thinking about getting a class pet. In your opinion, what class pet should we get? So to begin our project, we I gave the kids the prompt, which got them really, really, really excited about the writing, and they had a purpose to write. Um, after that, I gave them three choices. I said, you, we're going to decide on either a fish, a hamster, or a hermit crab, and that got them even more excited. And what I did is I told them that I wanted them to make an informed decision about which pet they choose. And so I went ahead and I put QR codes up all around our classroom, and the QR codes would take the kids to different websites pertaining to having a hamster for a pet or a betta fish as a pet. Um, and they went ahead and they walked around the classroom, and it really got them engaged and it got them thinking about the pros and cons of having each pet. Okay, and I noticed as the kids were walking around the classroom gathering information from their iPods using the QR codes that they were really engaged in what they were reading and it also sparked a lot of discussion and argument between the kids, but good argument, um, about which pet we should get and why and why not. So there was some really rich dis discussion going on as well as lots of reading and they were so engaged. A hamster in your classroom at school who will sleep most of the day and play at What do you? What animal are you thinking about getting? The hamster. Why? I'm thinking about getting a hermit crab. Me too. It's, um, it's cute and it's um, it's fluffy. Yeah. Oh, what are you thinking about? Hermit crab. Why? Because because it can come on the shirt and then it won't get lost and and we can pet it I can, and and we can train it to do fun stuff. You can train a hermit crab. Yeah. I'm thinking about getting the hermit crab. Why? It says he, hermit I'm crabs cool. make great low maintenance pets. Low maintenance. That means maintenance. they're not a lot of work. And, okay. this, and it, it says <laughs> this carol call way of growing allows the hermit crab to replace lost eyes or appendages. Oh, what? appendages. That means arms and legs. How are you doing, you guys? Okay, so to start the actual writing process of this project, I had the kids go ahead and choose one pet that they wanted to get, and then they used an organizer that looks like this that just had nine boxes, and all they had to do was write reasons why they think we should get that pet. And I explained to them that they're trying to talk me into getting this pet, so the reason should not they should be powerful reasons. And then we left the last two boxes um, as opposing reasons. So in other words, if this kiddo was writing about why they want to get a hamster, they would put reasons why they wanted to get a hamster in these boxes. And then the last two, they would say, I don't think we should get a betta fish because. And in the last box, they would say, I don't want to get a hermit crab because. Okay, after they did their reasons why we should get whatever pet they chose, we moved this on to our pre-write. And they, we used the learning headquarters model, so they did their opinion in the central idea spot, they did an audience hook, synonyms, this little girl is writing about a hamster, so she wrote animal, creature, and then we also have the question on here, what class pet should we get? Now since this is the first time we've done opinion writing in our classroom, I kind of helped the kids come up with their point one, point two, and point three, and I kind of created those containers to kind of help them organize their thoughts. So the first point is interesting facts, the second point is taking care of the animal, and then the third point is why we shouldn't get the other two. And so what the kids did is they took their ideas and they cut them out, and then they would cut them out one by one and decide which container that one would go to, and then they just glued those points or taped those points right onto those points and then after they cut them all out they had um, details for each point or each reason for their writing. So after the kids finish their pre-write, we move it on to their draft and this is where they really work on putting those ideas and those thoughts from their pre-write onto the draft and complete 
thoughts and complete sentences. So we take our audience hook, we take our central idea, and then we take each point and, like I said, put them into complete thoughts and complete sentences and really try to um, persuade or give their opinion about which class pet we should get. After we finish our draft, we'll take it to the post write, and of course we'll revise it and we'll edit it to make sure it's our best work. And the post write can be done on either a blank piece of paper or it can be done on a word processing program like Pages. Um, I'll probably have my kids type it into their, or use their iPod touches or their iPads to type it in, and then they can add pictures to their, to their writing um, to make it a little bit more exciting. And from there, I was thinking about having my kids work together collaboratively to create an iMovie to explain their opinion about what class pet we should get. And then they'll be able to share those with the rest of the class and with myself. And then we'll see if we're really going to get a class pet. So when I initially started this project, I thought of it on a whim, literally when I was walking into school one day. So I had to scramble around to get it ready, but my intention was not ever to get a class pet, but once they saw the writing that we were doing, I was not going to crush their dreams. So um, we probably will end up getting a class pet at the end of this, even though I did not, that was not my intention to begin with. But it's so exciting to see them so engaged in their writing and they're writing for a purpose. So it'll be exciting. <laughs>